Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded semicircle with the center O along with this uh, secant line DF fully confined uh, in a blue rectangle uh, ABCD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this segment uh, DP is uh, 7 units whereas uh, this other segment uh, PF is uh, 8 units and moreover Q is the point of uh, tangency and DE is the diameter of this uh, semicircle and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue rectangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus uh, on this uh, blue rectangle uh, a b c d and since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue rectangle and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area is always equal to the length uh, times the width uh, of the rectangle and in our case, uh, this AB is the length of this blue rectangle. I'm going to label this one as uh, X units. And here we can see AD is the width uh, of this rectangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OQ is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, radius uh, as lowercase r. And now we can see that this uh, side AD is equal to this uh, radius lowercase uh, r. So therefore the width of this blue rectangle is going to be lowercase uh, r. So thus our length uh, of this blue rectangle is x uh, and the width is lowercase uh, r. So therefore uh, the blue rectangle area is going to be x uh, times uh, lowercase uh, r. So therefore now our task is to find the value of uh, x times uh, r and now let's make an observation we can see that we are dealing with this uh, blue rectangle no wonder all these uh, interior angles are going to be 90 degrees each and in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this point E with this point uh, P as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we are ended up with this uh, tiny triangle uh, EPD and now let's recall the Thales theorem according to this theorem if D, P and E are our three distinct points on the circle where the line D, E is the diameter then the angle D, P, E is going to be a right angle in other words it's going to be a 90 degree angle no wonder this angle uh, DPE is going to be a 90 degree angle since all of these points uh, D, P and E lie on the very same uh, semicircle and D, E is the diameter and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these two angles uh, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees I'm going to label uh, this angle as our angle uh, alpha and we can see in this uh, triangle uh, DPE this angle is alpha this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta and now let's focus on this uh, big triangle uh, DCF we know this angle is uh, alpha this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta now let's make an observation we can see we are dealing with these two right triangles one of the right triangle uh, is a big uh, right triangle uh, DCF and the other right triangle is uh, this uh, triangle uh, DPE then we can see that uh, both of these uh, right triangles uh, DPE and the other right triangle DCF are our uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem then we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of these uh, 
two sides uh, d e and d p let me just write down uh, ratio of side length uh, d e and uh, d p is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, whole uh, length uh, d f uh, and this uh, side uh, d c so therefore the ratio of uh, side uh, d f uh, and uh, the side uh, d c and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, side uh, d e in our case uh, is uh, this uh, whole uh, length we know this uh, d o is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle so i'm going to label this one as lowercase r and likewise uh, o e is the radius lowercase r as well so therefore uh, this whole diameter d e length uh, is two times r so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, d e length uh, with uh, two times uh, r and now we can see our this uh, dp segment uh, length uh, is uh, seven units so i'm going to replace that one with the seven and now we are looking at this uh, df length uh, we can see this uh, whole uh, df length is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, seven plus eight is going to give us uh, 15 units so therefore i'm going to replace that uh, df length with the uh, 15 and finally let's focus on this uh, dc length we can see this uh, dc length uh, is same as this uh, ab length uh, and this length is uh, x so therefore i'm going to replace this dc length with the uh, x and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore uh, we can write down uh, 2 times uh, x uh, times uh, r is going to be equal to 15 times 7 is going to give us 105 on the right hand side and now i'm going to divide both sides by 2 and we can see that this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our x times r value is going to be if we subtract this one that is going to give us 52.5 square units and now let's make an observation we already found out uh, that the blue rectangle area is supposed to be x times uh, r and our x times r value turns out to be 52.5 so therefore we conclude that our blue rectangle area is going to be simply 52.5 square uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of the blue rectangle uh, ABCD turns out to be 52.5 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.